this seems like a team that it really celebrates each other's success. I would imagine that that they were pretty happy for you at the end of the half there. They were. It's a special group, you know. They're cheering me on. I'm cheering them on. We're just all so excited for each other. Yeah, it, it doesn't ever seem like anybody's uh, down in the dumps about when someone else does something. You see the bench up all the time, and it's, it's got to be fun to play with a group like that. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, Drew, I appreciate the uh, the time today, and we'll see you Friday night at Mankato. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you. Drew. That is Drew Henning with the Huskies winning tonight, 74-53 over Northern State. And they'll be back in action Friday night against Mankato. And we'll have it for you here on the Varsity Network app. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, Connor O'Brien, the assistant coach of the Husky men, he and I chatted before the women's game. That is coming up next. And then we'll flip the script, the men, and Northern State next here on the Husky Sports Network from Learfield. On the Husky Sports Network from Learfield, this has been Huskies Basketball, brought to you by Shields, Gear, Passion, Sports. Bradshaw and Bryant, serving justice for the injured. North Risk Partners, visit us at northriskpartners.com. And by St. Cloud Orthopedics, live better. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Husky Sports Network. On the Husky Sports Network from Learfield, this is Huskies Basketball. Brought to you by Centricare University of Minnesota Physicians Orthopedics, the exclusive orthopedic supplier of Huskies Athletics. Also brought to you by Bradshaw and Bryant, serving justice for the injured. North Risk Partners. Visit us at northriskpartners.com. And by Shields, your team sports headquarters. Now, welcome to the Huskies pregame show. We're going to talk some Husky hoops. We're joined now by the assistant coach of the Husky men, Connor O'Brien. And uh, coach, obviously uh, a tough one last night. And I talked with Coach Henderson about this after the game. It didn't quite feel like those losses we had a couple of weeks ago against uh, Mary and Minot. This felt a little more like the Mankato loss where sort of ran out of gas at the end and uh, didn't quite have that next gear to stay with them for 40 minutes. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. I mean, we, uh, I thought they, they're a very physical team um, and, and kind of took us out of a rhythm a little bit just with their physicality, especially early. Um, and then we just, we finally found a rhythm, but at that time we were trying to get, trying to get stops and it just wasn't, wasn't working. And I thought Matt Willard had a great second half. He stepped up, uh, played really well, but yeah, it just they're a good team. Uh, obviously, veteran group. They got two fifth-year seniors and a sixth-year senior, and and that's what those guys do. That's what makes them good. They're experienced. They've been been there before, uh, and they make big plays when it matters. Well, and uh, we got to see Jalen Griffin for the first time yesterday. I thought right away you could see a little bit of the, you know, you got a little anxious, a little uh, a little amped up there for a while, uh, trying to do too much. But as the game went on, I really liked how he settled in, and in the second half, I thought he did some really good things. Yeah, I thought he was really good. I, I mean, this young man has been through a lot. I, I mean, you know, a lot of people don't know, but he went through a, a knee surgery. You know, he tore his knee up. And I was telling him before the game, it had been like two and a half years since he had actually really fully been healthy playing a, a basketball game. So for I knew, and then you're out, you know, in the first semester. So when you come in, I knew he was going to be fired up, ready to go. But I thought he settled in, and it, it's not easy to do. And he did a really nice job. He brings some ability to get to the rim. I mean, I thought you saw that a little bit flash, especially in the second half. There were a couple of nice drives. I know he, he missed one and had another one that he was able to get to go, but he brings a nice ability to get to the rim. Yeah, for sure. And and I think you saw it early with him, um, which I, I thought was a tough call. He took down down on the other end, which uh, got him into foul trouble. But, you know, he, he does. He's really explosive. He's a great athlete. And I think as he gets more comfortable, he'll, he'll kind of fit in. Um, even better and, and it, again we don't want to put too much on his plate uh you know we we don't want to over uh, extend him uh, and ask too much of him but uh, as he gets more comfortable i think it'll get get continue to get better well then andre renta made his first collegiate start yesterday uh, what do you think of uh his his afternoon yeah he did some real nice things and and uh we're asking a lot uh, of andre defensively as well um and so some of the offensive stuff i think it will come with time as he gets more comfortable 
uh, more confident out there. But we, we put him on, on good players, and, and he's, he's run around. He's done a really nice job defensively. So hopefully he can continue that. Uh, Northern's got some really good guards, so it'll be a test. You know, you do see with him, too, you talk about what he's able to do defensively, but he has some flashes offensively that I think have got to be really encouraging for you guys. Yeah, for sure. He's a great shooter. I mean, you see if, if he gets his feet set and he's in rhythm, usually it's down. So, uh, no, he brings a lot, and he's got a quickness to him that, that I think helps, and, and he can get by people. But, you know, it, it's also it's, it's hard as a, as a true freshman, and especially, uh, you know, he's, he's playing a lot, and, and – there's really you don't have time to grow up you just kind of have to get thrown into it Connor O'Brien's our guest assistant coach of the Husky men they get ready to take on Northern State well let's talk about the Wolves they had a big win last night a 75-73 win over Minnesota Duluth I actually had the uh, the game up on my phone as, as ours was winding down and uh, they spent a lot of time at the monitor uh, at the end of that game but uh, Northern walks out of there with the win what did you see uh, when you watched that one last night uh, they played really well. They're a good team. Northern's really good. Uh, it was a good game. Um, no, nah, I mean, one of the things that, that just jumps out is, is uh, how well they shoot the ball. Northern just can really shoot it. Their guards are, are good shooters, and then they have some size and skill inside. So uh, they played well. Uh, they had been off, so you never know how a team's going to respond. And I thought they were in a good rhythm and, and did a lot of things. Uh, they, they were good defensively as well. So Yeah, that's actually what I talked with uh, their assistant coach, Josh Vaughn, about a little bit. He said, you know, they'd been off for so long that he, they weren't sure what yeah. to expect, but uh, they came through last night and uh, picked up a win on the road in a tough place to win uh, at Romano Gym up in Duluth. Uh, what are some things you guys got to focus on today to get it done? Well, they, I think the one thing that they, they're – they're big. I mean, across the board, their size is going to present challenges for us. And, and uh, you know, that that's they're, they're great shooters and they have size. I mean, I just kind of go back to that. they got size and skill. And, you know, can we counter that and, and use our strengths and find ways that we can exploit them? And uh, you saw last night they take care of the ball. So you got to value, the, uh, value every possession and, and take care of the ball. And I think if we can do that, um, you know, get them moving a little bit and, and – hopefully take advantage of, of our skills. It was good to see a little bit of that toughness back, too, the other night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, we, we need that. That's how we need to play, and um, hopefully that stays there. Coach, uh, good luck today, and uh, let's go finish off the weekend with a win. Awesome. Thank you very Start much. Start the new year with the win. How absolutely, about that? Absolutely, yeah. Happy New Year. That is Connor O'Brien, assistant coach of the Huskies, joining us here on the Husky Sports Network. golden light you are here 
Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Golden Light Draft Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Back here inside Hollenbeck Hall, Steve Lutzmeyer with you on the Husky Sports Network. As we get set for tip-off. Northern States led by Saul Phillips. In town to take on your St. Cloud State Huskies. Huskies following a loss last night to Minnesota State Moorhead. And for Northern State, they came away with what could be a big win for them. They went to Romano Gym in Duluth last night and knocked off the ranked Bulldogs, 75-73. So they're trying to keep things going and finish off the weekend with a sweep. But for the Huskies, they are trying to get a split this weekend after losing last night to Moorhead. Couple of finals. Well, I guess we have the one final we had here. St. Cloud State beat Northern State 74-53 in women's hoops. And then Minnesota Duluth held off Moorhead 60-45. So those are the finals today in the Northern Sun. And now we have just two men's games on the docket today. This one here, and then of course, up at Romano Gym, it's Moorhead against Duluth. We're gonna take a break now for the National Anthem. We'll have the starting lineups on the other side. St. Cloud State getting set to do battle with Northern State. The Wolves and the Bulldog, or the <laughs> the Wolves, I was looking at Minnesota Duluth. The Wolves and the Huskies are next here on the Husky Sports Network. Hey, Huskies fans, the wait is over. The St. Cloud State men's and women's basketball teams are back on the court, and Shields has everything you need to cheer on your favorite players all season long. Take your game day gear to the next level. With the Shields Fan Shop, we have an unmatched lineup of fan gear, including jerseys, hats, hoodies, and more to help you show off your team colors. So gear up, Huskies fans and celebrate all season with Shields, a proud partner of St. Cloud State basketball and hoops fans everywhere. St. Cloud State University is a game changer for advancing your career. Our master's and doctoral programs meet your professional goals and the needs of top employers. With more than 60 programs and 100 degree options, you will get to the next level. SCSU is all in and focused on your success. Make your next move. Enroll in classes online or at our St. Cloud or Plymouth campus locations. Learn more at scsu.mn slash gradschool. St. Cloud State University, bold, innovative, focused. Centric Care and University of Minnesota physicians have teamed up to bring you the most advanced orthopedic care right here in St. Cloud. Are you an elite athlete, casual athlete, or maybe that joint of yours has simply been aching too long? Trust the experts at Centric Care and Physicians Orthopedics to keep you in the game, whatever your game is. Visit centricare.com slash ortho to learn more. Centric Care and Physicians Orthopedics is the exclusive medical partner of St. Cloud State University Athletics. On the Husky Sports Network, from Learfield, this is Huskies Basketball, presented by Central Care University of Minnesota Physicians Orthopedics, your experts in orthopedics. Also brought to you by Speedy Delivery, better overnight delivery, lower price. Mies Outland, Minnesota's premier power sports dealership for over 75 years. And by Deerwood Bank, some call it Minnesota nice, we call it Hashtag deal with nice. The tip is moments away. Now let's go courtside. Here is the voice of Huskies basketball, Steve Linsmeyer. Back here inside Hollenbeck Hall, Steve Linsmeyer with you on the Husky Sports Network. Let's go through the starters first for Northern State. Head coach Saul Phillips, of course, formerly the head coach in North Dakota State, formerly the head coach at Ohio. And he'll start this way. Number five, Sam Mastin, a 6'3", senior from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Number 10 is Trey Longstreet, a 6'7", sophomore from Waverly, Minnesota, went to Delano High School. Number 11, Augustin Reedy, a 6'2", senior from Aberdeen, South Dakota. Number 21 is Jackson Money, a 6'10", sophomore from Fargo, North Dakota, went to Cheyenne High School. 
Number 23, Jordan Belka, a 6'7", 50 year from Rogers, Minnesota. So it's Mastin, Longstreet, Reedy, Money, and Belke for Saul Phillips and the Northern State men's basketball team. Let's go to the starters for St. Cloud State. Under the direction of first year head coach Quincy Henderson, they'll start this way. Number zero is Andre Renta, 6'1", freshman from Hudson, Wisconsin. Number four, Joe Mutimer, a six foot junior from Melbourne, Australia. Number 10, Ryan Bagley, a 6'3", fifth year from Pocatello, Idaho. Number 22 is Matt Willard, a 6'6", junior from Buffalo, Minnesota. And number 32 is Luke Taylor, a 6'6", senior from Germantown, Wisconsin. Renta, Mutimer, Bagley, Willard, and Taylor, the five Huskies that'll get the start today against Northern. St. Cloud State, five and six overall right now, two and four in the NSIC, currently in sixth place in the Northern Sun North. And for Northern State, they are technically in a tie for second with Moorhead. Both teams are four and one in conference play. Moorhead does have the better overall record at nine and two, but Northern State at eight and three. Of course, next weekend for the Huskies, they will start their first trip through the South. As they will take on both Mankato, I mean, they've already played Mankato once, but they will play him in conference play for the first time. And then will play Concordia St. Paul on Saturday from the Gangelhoff Center in St. Paul. Luke Taylor against Jackson Money for the tip. Huskies in red today. Northern State in white. And ball is up and Taylor wins the tip. And St. Cloud State will have the opening possession. Taylor with it up top of the key, hands it off to Willard. Willard had a nice second half yesterday. You heard from Coach O'Brien about that a little bit in the pregame. Butimer near the foul line, out to Taylor. Taylor didn't take the three from straight on. Finds Butimer on the back door to the baseline. Defender falls off, and Butimer bangs it in off the window. And the first two belong to St. Cloud State. Butimer averaging eight and a half points per game. Scores his first two there. Mastin driving underneath the basket, whips a baseline pass out to the corner, and a three is good for Longstreet. So Trey Longstreet hits the three. It's a 3-2 lead for Northern. Butimer trying to get around the screen. Taylor slipped it. He was open, but Butimer could not find him. Willard underneath has it knocked out of his hands and out of bounds. It'll stay here with St. Cloud State. So the Huskies will inbound baseline left. Inbound goes to Willard on the curl to the corner. Willard backs it out, now enters in the post for Taylor. Taylor going to work, right hook, middle of the lane, rattled out. Tough break there for Taylor. And Sam Mastin will jog it up. Gets a screen from Modi at the top, now bounces it down to the short corner left for Belka. Belka skips it across the floor. Reedy into the middle of the lane. Right to left, nothing there, and back out to the top. Out to the wing, shot fake from Longstreet, and he'll dump it right back to the top for Mastin. Steps right, launches a three. That's off the side rim, no good. And Willard tips the ball straight down off the floor to Taylor. Ryan Bagley with the right sideline for St. Cloud. Bagley around the Taylor screen, gets it to him right in the lane. Taylor backing in out to the top. Willard catch and shoot left of the circle three. Off the right side of the iron, no. And Moni has the rebound for Northern State. Sam Mastin We'll bring it up now. Off to the top of the key, they'll enter it down the post. Quick turnaround, left hook. No, it misses everything. Willard catches it on the other side. Here come the Huskies. Out to the corner, now Bagley, shot fake. Steps around the defender, drives the angle, kicks it out. Rent to open three, left wing off the back iron and out. And the rebound reeled in by Mastin. Mastin will bring it up and leave it to Reedy. Back to Mastin now right of the circle. Down to Money in the short corner right. Starts to back in on Willard to the lane. Goes right, hook shot up, off the rim. Rattles in off the backboard. First two for Jackson Money. 
Seven, or excuse me, five to two. Into the middle for Renta, down to the block, pushes it up and skips the rim, no good. Rebound picked up by Mastin. Here come the Wolves. Mastin to the top of the key. Crossover right into the corner. And back out it comes. They'll swing it around left side for Reedy. He'll try a deep three, and he got it. Awesome. Augustine Reedy from way downtown. And it's an 8-2 advantage now. Budimer trying to turn the corner. Trying to get to Taylor. It's tipped away, though. And they fire it ahead. On the run is Mastin taking on... Mutimer puts that one up and in, and Mastin's got his first two, and a timeout now for Northern State. It's 10-2, and a quick start for the Wolves, and a timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. You're tuned into the Hus Husky Basketball here on the Husky Sports Network. Nicolo Golden Light is the smooth, golden taste of Minnesota and the official beer of here. What's so special about here? Here is where you pursue your passions. Here is where you simplify here is where you reconnect. And wherever here is for you, we'll be there. Niccolo Golden Light. You are here. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Niccolo Golden Light Draft Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Cloud State down 10 to two. They scored the first two, but now it has been a 10 nothing run for Northern State. Northern out to a four from six start from the foul or from the field. They made a couple of threes, two for three from deep. Taylor a couple of dribbles. Huskies one for five from the field. Mutimer a little head fake trying to get into the middle, but the 6'10 Moni was there to shut him down. Here's Griffin with a three from the right wing. It hits the back rim and skips out. And the rebound picked up by Longstreet. Northern State will. John get back into the front court. Mastin with it. Round a screen down to the block. Dumps it in for Moni. Moni backing in. Spins baseline. Lost it for a moment. Gets it back. Feeds it into the middle of the lane. And there is Belka. Who gets in to the middle and scores. It's now a 12-0 run for Northern. Four minutes in. Griffin shaking his defender into the middle of the lane. Up and under. Right side scoop is good. And Jalen Griffin's got his first two again. Griffin's a guy that hasn't played a real basketball game in about two and a half years until yesterday. Only a shot fake, dribbles, and a foul out on the drive. It's going to go against Tony Dahl. Willard and Cook coming in for the Huskies. And Mastin will inbound on the baseline left. You had the foul on for White. No, red. So the fouls go, foul goes against Dahl, and they just had to double check that. So Mastin will throw it in baseline left. Mastin will lob it in up top for Moni. Moni with his back to the basket out above the three point line now gives it into the hands of Mastin. Moni's going to try a three, and he hits. Wow. The 6'10", Jackson Moni hits from way downtown, and it's 15 to four. Inside, Cook can't put it away. That one bounds off the back rim, picked up now by Mastin. Looking to drive, Mastin kicks to the wing. Reedy up top, Moni gonna try another three. That one hits short, rebound by Jalen Griffin, but he lost the ball trying to save it, and then threw it off of... A defender, I thought, threw it off of Longstreet, but Griffin was already out of bounds. And a turnover there for the Huskies. Ryan Bagley coming in for St. Cloud State. 20 on the shot clock. Sam Mastin, the leading scorer of this team. Jackson Moni, that was actually his 24th three-point make. Actually, <laughs> he leads the team in three-point makes. Into the corner, three ball, good for Longstreet. And Northern's already hit four, three times from beyond the arc. It's 18 to four, this one getting out of hand early. Husky's gotta find a way to settle it down. 
Dahl shaking his way down to the baseline. Tries to throw a skip pass across the floor, but it's deflected by a wolf. I don't, not sure who got it, but that'll take us to the under five. Any timeout that the Huskies needed. It's 18 to four. Northern out of the gates early with the lead here on the Husky Sports Network. When we need someone to listen, a lawyer you know and trust. Hi, I'm Mike Bryant from Bradshaw and Bryant. Did you know that the CDC estimates that around 3,000 people die each year from texting and driving, plus other distracted driving practices? That's even more worrying when you count the over 600,000 drivers who use their phones while operating their vehicle, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Association. And who uses texting the most? Young people do. Student drivers. This year, make it your objective to forget about your phone while you drive. Just two seconds of texting increases the risk of an accident up to 24 times. Texting takes just one second, but it can end your life or ruin it forever. I hope you're never in a motor vehicle collision, but if you are, don't sign anything until you've talked to us. Find Bradshaw and Bryant, personal injury attorneys at minnesotapersonalinjury.com. Seeking justice for the injured, Bradshaw and Bryant. St. Cloud State down 18 to four, and I did misspeak. Modi actually second on the team at three point makes. He is behind Augustine Reedy, who has 35, and it shoots him at a 46% clip. But Modi right now in second on the team in three point attempts. Huskies have the ball down 14 already, 18 to four. Tough start for St. Cloud State, trying to settle it down and get back in this thing. Taylor hands it off to Bagley. Bagley with one, he's gotta get a shot off, can't do it. And that'll be a shot clock violation. He had the 6'7", Jordan Belka out guarding him from about 23 feet away, right in his shorts. And he could not get a shot off. Michael Nile has come in for Northern. Also Josh Dilling. Mastin gets into the paint, then kicks it back to Reedy. A three is good. And that's the fifth three already for Northern. And it's 21 to four. They're now five of seven from three. Willard trying to answer. Left wing three, splash. 21-7, two touchdown lead for Northern. 13.55 to go here the first. Dilling, shot fake, now left of the lane. Jumper from Belka won't go. Nile slides through, gets the rebound, feeds Belka coming back down the lane and lays it in. 23-7. Willard trying to go around the screen, goes opposite through the lane. Left-handed floater rolls off. And Mastin will bring it up left sideline. Mastin over the wing. Here's a three from Belka. That's long. And Griffin jumps up for the rebound. Up the left side for Dahl. Dahl pulls and pops in transition and hits the three. So Dahl hits the three. Timeout called by St. Cloud State. So the Huskies already down two timeouts as they take their second one right there. Moorhead off to a good start in their matchup with Duluth. It's 10 to four, obviously very early in that one. They're not quite to the under 15 yet. In that matchup out at Romano Gym. That is the only other Northern Sun game going on today. There were a couple games played Friday night. Twenty-three, ten. Thirteen point advantage for Northern. Kobe Bush has come in for Northern. Moni with it up top, now to Bush. Fires a pass to Nile. Nile trying to go around Taylor. He's cut off towards the baseline. Out to the wing for Dilling. Dilling up to Moni. Moni back to Dilling on the right side, trying to get away from Renta. Crosses over into the middle. Trying to spin his way out, gives it to the wing. Now Nile gonna try a three, blocked by Taylor. 
And Andre Renta got bumped there by Bush. No whistle, we play on. Renta will bring it up, now it's Willard. Willard trying to attack the middle. Left-handed scoop, shot off the back rim and drops. Willard with five, the Huskies down 11. 23 to 12. A little bit more pressure here put on by the Huskies defensively. Nile with it out on the wing. Up top for Dilling, works around a Bush screen. Over to the wing for Mastin, lobs it in towards Mone, tipped away by Griffin, and then off the fingertips of Mone and out of bounds. So Griffin got a piece of it, and went off of Mone's hands and out of bounds. 12-12 to go here in the first. 23-12, Bagley. Round of Taylor's screen, Willard flashes in front of him. Bagley, nice crossover, drives and kicks out to the wing. Griffin now attacking the angle, kicks to Taylor. Left wing three, rattles out. Renta flying through, knocked it out of bounds. So it'll go to Northern. So Northern has it with 11.55 play here in the first. 23-12. 11 point advantage for Northern. Mone with it in the left corner. Pass up to the top of the key. Goes to Dilling. Dilling working around the screen. Feeds it inside for Mone. Knocked away by Dahl but Mone got, grabs it at the free throw line. Kicks to Bush. He'll try a three from the wing. That's no good. Great box out by Dahl. He seals off Mone for the rebound and Willard dives after it to try to keep the ball alive and then taps it towards Bagley. Here's Renta on the attack to the right baseline. He's cut off though by Dilling, back out to Willard. Dahl left of the circle, now Bagley trying to turn the corner down the middle. Drives and dishes to Dahl, open three, left wing is off the front rim and the rebound into the corner picked up by Mone. Mastin will jog it up as the clock hits 11 minutes to play here in the first half. Mastin picked up by Dahl, trying to cross him over, kick out to the corner. Nile will try a three, and that one rattles in. Michael Nile, another Cheyenne, West Fargo Cheyenne product on this Northern roster. 26-12, Renta trying to go to the baseline, flips it back to Dahl, the right wing. Dahl up top to Bagley, around a Willard screen. Bagley has Mone on him now, out to the wing, catch and shoot, Dahl three, got it. Tony Dahl with a triple. 26-15, just over 10 minutes to play here in the first half as Mastin dribbles it into the front court. Picked up though as he comes around a Mone screen by Dahl, trying to cross his way into the paint, backing him in, kick out Mone, shot fake, dribbles into the free throw line, 14 foot jumper, good. Seven for Jackson Mone. Up top, Bagley straight on three. Back iron, no. Long rebound into the corner. Mutimer chasing after it, trying to save it. And it's out of bounds. It's going to go to Northern, but that'll take us to the under 10. 9.56 to go here in half one. And the Huskies down 13 at home to Northern State. When you need someone to listen, a lawyer you know and trust. Hi, I'm Mike Bryant from Bradshaw and Bryant. Did you know that the CDC estimates that around 3,000 people die each year from texting and driving, plus other distracted driving practices? That's even more worrying when you count the over 600,000 drivers who use their phones while operating their vehicle, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Association. And who uses texting the most? Young people do. Student drivers. This year, make it your objective to forget about your phone while you drive. Just two seconds of texting increases the risk of an accident up to 24 times. Texting takes just one second, but it can end your life or ruin it forever. I hope you're never in a motor vehicle collision, but if you are, don't sign anything until you've talked to us. Find Bradshaw and Bryant, personal injury attorneys at minnesotapersonalinjury.com. Seeking justice for the injured, Bradshaw and Bryant.
28-15. It is a 13-point Northern State lead. Steve Lensmeyer back with you from Hollenbeck Hall on this New Year's Day 2023. And with it in the front court will be Longstreet up top for Moni. Moni enters into the post. We're going to have a foul on Mutimer, I believe, as Longstreet was trying to get position in the post. Second team foul on the Huskies. Inbound will be thrown in by Reedy. Dealing with it now on the wing left side. Reedy comes to get it up top. Shot fake trying to spin away from Mutimer and he'll take a jab step then try the three. Hits the back rim running into the St. Cloud State bench. Trying to save it, couldn't do it. Huskies have it. Here's the lob to Griffin and he taps it in on the other side. What a pass from Mutimer, finding Griffin in the air. And he knocks that one in off the glass, and the Huskies trail now by 11, 28-17. And there's a steal as Mutimer knocks it free. Dahl has it, tries to bounce it to Griffin, but it kicks off his foot, then off Moni and out of bounds. And it's going to stay here with St. Cloud State. Huskies will inbound to the baseline right, 9.07 to go here in half one. Gets into the corner for Willard on the curl of the baseline. Willard starting to work his way into the lane. Goes right to the hook shot, and oh my goodness, it rolled out. That one was halfway down and would not go. That was three quarters of the way down. Dilling on the hedge, picked up by Dahl. They've got Griffin on Moni right now after the switch. And Moni working into the middle of the lane. Willard comes over to help. This one hit the back rim, and Griffin has the rebound. Griffin up the sideline for Mutimer. Over to Griffin now. Left of the circle. He'll try the three, and it rattles in. Griffin's got seven, and the Huskies are within eight. 28-20. Now between the circles on the logo, Long Street. Down to the free throw line for Belka. He'll take one dribble and waste it, back it out. Dom Aguilar in the game, by the way, for the Huskies. And now Reedy gonna try the three over Aguilar. Hits the side rim, no good. Willard trying to fight for the rebound. It goes to Dilling instead. Now Belka has it, right hook hits the back rim. And Mutimer's got the rebound. Here come the Huskies down eight. Willard trailing, shot fake. Trying to work around Belka, drives in, tucks it like a running back, finishes with the left hand and the foul. Seven for Willard. And he'll go to the free throw line for an extra one with 7.51 to play in the half. And now Saul Phillips wants a timeout. So he will take one, 28-22. And a timeout on the floor. We'll take a quick 30-second stoppage here on the Husky Sports Network. Nicolo Golden Light is the smooth golden taste of Minnesota and the official beer of here. What's so special about here? Here is where you pursue your passions. Here is where you simplify. Here is where you reconnect. And wherever here is for you, we'll be there. Michelob Golden Light. You are here. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Golden Light Draft Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Matt Willard at the foul line. And he'll get a free throw to try to convert a three-point play. And he does not, so Willard's free throw rolls out. Huskies down 28-22. Huskies were down in this game by as many as 17. It was 21-4 at one point. There's a baseline drive, bounce back in the middle for Belkin. Now Moni, and he's called for a travel. And then he runs over Griffin. Would have been a charge anyway. And that travel will send the ball back to St. Cloud State. That's just the third turnover for Northern. 7.32 remaining in the half. Huskies with a six-point deficit. But they trailed by as many as 17 in this one. Trying to... Get back in this thing. Here's Griffin. Quick trigger three. Hits the front rim. That one's tipped out by Moni, and it's going to stay here 
with the Huskies, and that absolutely is the right call. Now, the Northern bench is not happy with this, but weirdly enough, that is the, at least from my vantage point, was the right call. I just can't believe the Huskies got it. Here's Dahl, left of the circle off the inbound, tries the three, comes up with nothing. And the rebound picked up by Mastin. Just over seven minutes to play. Here's Mastin, head of steam down the lane, left hand, a layup is good, and one. So it's 30 to 22. Eight point lead now for Northern and a free throw coming for Sam Mastin. Bagley and Taylor coming back in. So free throw coming for Mastin. The senior from Highlands Ranch, Colorado hits the free throw. We talked yesterday with Quincy Anderson. He said that he was a guy that they recruited when he was at West Texas A&M. Here's the curl for Aguilar out to the corner now, Bagley. Bagley backing his way in against Mastin, kicks it across the lane. Here's a long two from Taylor, that's gonna be short. And Mastin's got the miss for Northern. Mastin working his way through traffic. Now they fight underneath for Mone, and Mone bangs it in off the window from point blank. And the 6'10 sophomore scoring that time to push the lead back to 11. Bagley swings it over to Aguilar. He'll try the three, he'll hit the three. Dom Aguilar hits the triple. And it's 33-25. Huskies have cut it to eight. Belka up top, a couple of dribbles towards the right wing. They've got Griffin on Moni. Again, here's a left wing three from Mastin. That's gonna be short. Belka trying to fight off Taylor for the rebound. And I believe it's going to be a foul on Luke Taylor. I got, I got now. Jaylen, okay. God, God. So Andre Renta coming in. Griffin will check out. And Andrew Bergen coming in for Northern. Mastin will inbound to a 1 4 flat set. It goes to Moni on the wing. Now Mastin comes to get it on a handoff. Mastin trying to work around Willard, into the middle, kick to the corner. Wide open look for Belka, rattles out, and the rebound picked up by Northern. There's bodies on the floor as Moni takes down Willard, no whistle, we play on. Enter it now to the post for Belka. Backing in Willard, right hook, missed everything, and that's gonna go off the hands of Luke Taylor, who's reaching up to grab it, and it deflected off his knuckles and out of bounds. And that's how <laughs> not to uh, you know show the northern coaches how physics works sometimes but every once in a while you can hit that ball backwards here's Belka open three right wing and it's good that's like that last one it was off northern but the ball deflected the wrong way and the northern coaches were arguing that the, why would the ball go that way if it was hit by Moni but that exact same thing just happened right there against St. Cloud State. An 11 point lead now. Huskies with the ball, Renta in front of the Northern bench. Waits, now he'll shoot the three and he hits. Renta hits the three, it's 36-28, an eight point lead for Northern. Sam Mastin with it for Northern. Head fake, works down on a hesitation to the right side of the lane, nothing there, enters into the post. Back out top of the key. Bergen gonna try the three. That hits off the backboard. And it's last touch by Belkin going out of bounds. And that'll take us to the under five. 445 remaining here in half one. The Huskies down 36-28 on the Husky Sports Network from Learfield. When you need someone to listen, a lawyer you know and trust. Hi, I'm Mike Bryant from Bradshaw and Bryant. Did you know that the CDC estimates that around 3,000 people die each year from texting and driving? 
plus other distracted driving practices. That's even more worrying when you count the over 600,000 drivers who use their phones while operating their vehicle, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Association. And who uses texting the most? Young people do. Student drivers. This year, make it your objective to forget about your phone while you drive. Just two seconds of texting increases the risk of an accident up to 24 times. Texting takes just one second, but it can end your life or ruin it forever. I hope you're never in a motor vehicle collision, but if you are, don't sign anything until you've talked to us. Find Bradshaw and Bryant, personal injury attorneys at minnesotapersonalinjury.com. Seeking justice for the injured. Bradshaw and Bryant. Northern State leading the Huskies, 4.45 to go in the first half. Steve Linsmeyer with you from Hollenbeck Hall, the campus of St. Cloud State University. These two teams meeting for the first of two times this year. Of course, both part of the Northern Sun Northern Division. They will meet again later on in February. Dahl on the flare, catch and shoot, left wing three. It's going to be short, hops up over the backboard, not a bounds. So that will send the ball to Northern. That one was just short. It was right on, but didn't quite have enough. Northern started five of seven from three. They're now just one for their last seven from beyond the arc. So the percentages have played back to the way of the Huskies. It up top, Mastin. Mastin head fake, driving in, kick to the corner. Nile will try a three, that's going to be short. And Luke Taylor fighting for the rebound, knocked out of his hands and out of bounds. Probably should have been a foul there on Northern, but they only have one of the day so far. Bagley will jog it up for the Huskies. Down by eight at home here against Northern. Taylor guarded by Bush out beyond the three-point line, looking for an outlet, gives it now to Bagley on the right sideline. Taylor slips the screen, down to the right side, hangs in the air, and oh my goodness, another one that just won't go, but Dahl the rebound, can't put it away, and now Taylor's fouled. That's the second one that the Huskies have had that rolled around and just would not go. So Taylor will get two free throws. And the first one snaps the net, it's good. That's the first point of the day for Luke Taylor, who had the first five last night. And the Huskies lost to Moorhead. And the second one, (laughs) short, but bounces in. It sat on the rim for a moment, but dropped 36-30. And Northern State with a six point lead. Here's Mastin driving down to the block. Stop there, throws it back out to the top of the key for Dilling. Dilling out to the wing, driving now, baseline is Bergen. Bergen back out, Mastin working down the lane, kick out. Nile will try a three from the corner, and that is good. Second three for Nile, 39-30, Huskies down nine. Here's Griffin behind the back, trying to get away from the defender, tries the three, and that one off the short side of the rim, and picked up by Nile. Mastin will walk it up for Northern. 3.10 to go in the half, and Mastin gets an opening and finishes with his left hand on the right side. 41-30. An 11-point lead again for Northern. They've led by as many as 17. It was a 21-2 run after the Huskies scored the first points of the game. Up top, Taylor. Taylor working around Bush, tries a runner. That one hit the side of the backboard. Now it's Nile trying to get up the floor and coming from behind and knocking it out is Bagley. And that one goes out of bounds on the baseline. So the Huskies will go on defense now as Mutimer and Willard come in. Bergen will inbound deep in the left corner. And out towards the wing for Mastin on that same left side. He'll walk it back to the half line. Two and a half minutes to go. Mastin, head fake, hesitation, and finishes again. 
A little hesitation, part of the Red Sea. And it's 43-30, that one knocked away, but Rent able to get it back in the corner now. Willard will try the three, that one rattles out. And a rebound for Mastin. Mastin's pass was almost stolen. Here's Nile going in for a layup. 45-30, so just like that, the lead is back to 15. A quick 8-0 run. And here's Willard into the middle. Willard driving, spinning left, finishing with the left hand. 45-32. Up to the top of the key for Dilling. Dilling over to the side for Mastin. Mastin driving into the middle, kick out. Dilling, lefty three is off the back rim and pulled in by Willert. 45-32, 90 seconds to go in the half. Up top, Willert, deep three from straight on, straight in. Second three for Willert. Willard with 12. He leads all scores in this game. It's 45-35. Mastin drive and kick. Nile a three, rattles out. And Bush trying to tip the rebound back, slaps it out of bounds instead. And it will be Husky basketball. Fight, 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 fight. The Huskies with one minute to go in the half. Bring it up the floor. Mutimer gets it to Willard. Above the left elbow. Willard finds Mutimer coming back to the top. And there's Dahl down the middle. And a layup is good. Good find for Mutimer. Dahl with eight now. And right side, Dilling. Dilling crosses into the middle. Had it knocked out of his hands. Picked up by Renta. Renta across the half line. And they're going to pull it back out here, try to run as much off the shot clock as they can. There's a four and a, or five and a half second differential right now between the game clock and the shot clock. Dahl with it, right side of the circle. Works into the middle, now drives. Holds off the defender with his body, misses the left-handed scoop shot. And now Griffin fouls. Longstreet in the open floor with 9.4 seconds to go. The Huskies had one to give, so actually not a bad foul there from Griffin. Hey, 45-37. Eight-point lead. For Northern, Mastin driving, kicking across the floor, out to the wing. Now it's right side. Moni, a three is off the front rim, no good. And Dahl tipped it out, and that will end the half. So St. Cloud State trailed by as many as 17. It was actually 21 to 4 right out of the gates. But they'll go into halftime down 45 37. So certainly within striking distance are the Huskies after the first 20 minutes here from. Hollenbeck Hall will take a timeout. And the halftime number is coming up in just a bit here on the Husky Sports Network from Learfield. Nicolo Golden Light is the smooth golden taste of Minnesota and the official beer of here. What's so special about here? Here is where you pursue your passions. Here is where you simplify. Here is where you reconnect. And wherever here is for you, we'll be there. Nicolo Golden Light. You are here. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Golden Light Draft Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Cloud State University is a game changer for advancing your career. Our master's and doctoral programs meet your professional goals and the needs of top employers. With more than 60 programs and 100 degree options, you will get to the next level. SCSU is all in and focused on your success. Make your next move. Enroll in classes online or at our St. Cloud or Plymouth campus locations. Learn more at scsu.mn slash gradschool. St. Cloud State University, bold, innovative, focused. 
Another season of women's and men's college sports is underway. Follow your alma mater or favorite team in their pursuit of the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. Trophies will be awarded in June 2023 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. CentraCare and University of Minnesota Physicians have teamed up to bring you the most advanced orthopedic care right here in St. Cloud. Are you an elite athlete, casual athlete, or maybe that joint of yours has simply been aching too long? Trust the experts at CentraCare and Physicians Orthopedics to keep you in the game, whatever your game is. Visit CentraCare.com slash ortho to learn more. CentraCare and Physicians Orthopedics is the exclusive medical partner of St. Cloud State University Athletics. Hey, Huskies fans, the wait is over. The St. Cloud State men's and women's basketball teams are back on the court, and Shields has everything you need to cheer on your favorite players all season long. Take your game day gear to the next level. With the Shields Fan Shop, we have an unmatched lineup of fan gear, including jerseys, hats, hoodies, and more to help you show off your team colors. So gear up, Huskies fans, and celebrate all season with Shields, a proud partner of St. Cloud State basketball and hoops fans everywhere. Got my nachos, got my big TV, and my favorite chair. It's game time. But you know, the only thing that would make it a little better is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. Ah, hello. You must have wished for your game to be synced with TV and radio. I sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? (laughs) Yeah. Blammo. Your game is now synced. It's that easy. Oh, boy. To see if you can get synced, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. SyncMyGame.com? SyncMyGame.com. When you need someone to listen, a lawyer you know and trust. Hi, I'm Mike Bryant from Bradshaw and Bryant. Did you know that the CDC estimates that around 3,000 people die each year from texting and driving, plus other distracted driving practices? That's even more worrying when you count the over 600,000 drivers who use their phones while operating their vehicle, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Association. And who uses texting the most? Young people do. Student drivers. This year, make it your objective to forget about your phone while you drive. Just two seconds of texting increases the risk of an accident up to 24 times. Texting takes just one second, but it can end your life or ruin it forever. I hope you're never in a motor vehicle collision, but if you are, don't sign anything until you've talked to us. Find Bradshaw and Bryant, personal injury attorneys at minnesotapersonalinjury.com. Seeking justice for the injured, Bradshaw and Bryant. On the Husky Sports Network from Learfield, this is Huskies Basketball, brought to you by Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union. Banking is what we do. People is who we are. Quick trip. See you next time. Roto-Rooter, trusted plumbing and water cleanup services at any hour, any day. And by Centricare University of Minnesota Physicians Orthopedics, the exclusive orthopedic supplier of Huskies Athletics. Now, this is the Huskies. Huskies Halftime Show. Take a look at the first half numbers where St. Cloud State trails Northern State 45-37 at the end of the first 20 minutes for the Huskies. They were 14 of 35 for the field, 40%, 7 of 18 from 3, and 2 of 3 from the foul line. For Northern, they were 18 of 38 for the field, 8 of 21 from 3, but they started 5 of 7. So since then, 3 of 14 from beyond the arc, 1 of 1 from the foul line. Leading the way, 9 points for Jackson Money, 9 points for Sam Mastin, who also has nine assists already. Sam Mastin on triple-double watch here. Nine points, nine assists, six rebounds already in the first half for Mastin. What a unbelievable start for the Northern State guard. For St. Cloud State, 12 points for Matt Willard, eight from Tony Dahl, seven from Jalen Griffin. Nobody else with more than three. Huskies getting beat on the glass, 20-14. 
Turnovers, four for Northern, three for St. Cloud State. Uh, both Mutimer and Bagley each with five assists. St. Cloud State 11 assists on 14 field goals. 11 assists on 18 field goals for Northern. So, yeah, Sam Mastin, 9-9-6 nine, nine, and six at halftime. He is uh, putting together a potential triple-double, not that far away from putting together a triple-double. Mastin on the season averages 18 points per game, 7.5 rebounds per game, and he's got 73 assists, so that would put him at, what, about 6.8, 6.7, something like that, assists per game. For Mass, let's do the math here on that. Let's see if I was if I was right. Seventy-three assists divided by twelve games. That's oh, just over six. Six point one. I was way off. Six point one assists per game for Maston. So he has put up those triple double like numbers. He has come close to a couple triple doubles. He had 14, 10, and 6 last night against Duluth. He had 14, 11, and just 3 against Minot State. He had 14, 6, and 7. Oh, here's the closest, though. Against Texas A&M Kingsville, he had 15, 9, and 9. That came back on the 25th of November, a couple days after Thanksgiving. He went for 15, 9, and 9. And the night before, or the week earlier in that week against Morehead, he had 16, 8, and 9. He had a 29 and 7. He had a 16, 9, and 4. So he's been awfully close to a triple double this year on a couple of different occasions, but so far has not been able to finish the job. But four rebounds tonight, one more assist, and another point. That's all he needs in this final 20 minutes against St. Cloud State to put together his first triple-double of the season. We'll take a break, and more to come here in the halftime report after this from Hollenbeck Hall. The Huskies trail Northern State 45-37. Century Care and University of Minnesota physicians have teamed up to bring you the most advanced orthopedic care right here in St. Cloud. Are you an elite athlete, casual athlete, or maybe that joint of yours has simply been aching too long? Trust the experts at Century Care and Physicians Orthopedics to keep you in the game, whatever your game is. Visit centricare.com slash ortho to learn more. Century Care and Physicians Orthopedics is the exclusive medical partner of St. Cloud State University Athletics. Think you know St. Cloud State University? Think again. We are scholars and bold thinkers. We are innovators using cutting edge facilities and technology. We are focused on the success of every student. We are a university of choice, offering programs in high demand fields. And we are the home of the Huskies. Make SCSU your home. Visit our campus and learn more at scsu.mn. St. Cloud State University, bold, innovative, focused. Nicolo Golden Light is the smooth golden taste of Minnesota and the official beer of here. What's so special about here? Here is where you pursue your passions. Here is where you simplify. Here is where you reconnect. And wherever here is for you, we'll be there. Nicolo Golden Light. You are here. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Golden Light Draft Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Another season of women's and men's college sports is underway. Follow your alma mater or favorite team in their pursuit of the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. Trophies will be awarded in June 2023 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. St. Cloud State trailing Northern, 45-37. Steve Lutzmeyer back with you from Hollenbeck Hall. Second half coming up just a couple of minutes from now. 
Of course, we don't have many other games going on in the NSIC today in women's finals. Of course, the Husky women beat Northern State 74-53, and it really wasn't even that close today as they won by 21, but were up almost 30 when they pulled their starters. And Northern ended the game on, I think it was a 8-0 run, something like that. Minnesota Duluth in women's hoops beating Moorhead 60 to 45. And in other scores, how about this? At halftime in men's basketball, Minnesota State Moorhead leading Duluth 42-25. So Duluth down 17 at halftime. And potentially going 0 for 2 on the weekend. They, of course, lost to Northern last night, 75-73. And they've given up 42 first-half points against Minnesota State Moorhead and trail by 17 at the break up at Romano Gym. We'll take a break and one of the second half for you next. St. Cloud State trailing 45-37 to Northern here on the Husky Sports Network from Learfield. When you need someone to listen, a lawyer you know and trust, Hi, I'm Mike Bryant from Bradshaw and Bryant. Did you know that the CDC estimates that around 3,000 people die each year from texting and driving, plus other distracted driving practices? That's even more worrying when you count the over 600,000 drivers who use their phones while operating their vehicle, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Association. And who uses texting the most? Young people do. Student drivers. This year, make it your objective to forget about your phone while you drive. Just two seconds of texting increases the risk of an accident up to 24 times. Texting takes just one second, but it can end your life or ruin it forever. I hope you're never in a motor vehicle collision, but if you are, don't sign anything until you've talked to us. Find Bradshaw and Bryant, personal injury attorneys at minnesotapersonalinjury.com. Seeking justice for the injured, Bradshaw and Bryant. St. Cloud State University is a game changer for advancing your career. Our master's and doctoral programs meet your professional goals and the needs of top employers. With more than 60 programs and 100 degree options, you will get to the next level. SCSU is all in and focused on your success. Make your next move. Enroll in classes online or at our St. Cloud or Plymouth campus locations. Learn more at scsu.mn slash grad school. St. Cloud State University. Bold. Innovative. Focused. Got my nachos, got my big TV, and my favorite chair. It's game time. But you know, the only thing that would make it a little better is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. Ah, uh, hello. You must have wished for your game to be synced with TV and radio. I sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? <laughs> yeah. Blammo. Your game is now synced. It's that easy. Oh, boy. To see if you can get synced, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. SyncMyGame.com? SyncMyGame.com. Huskies trailing 45-37. Welcome you back into Hollenbeck Hall for half two of this game as the Huskies and Northern State get ready to battle the final 20 minutes. See who comes out on the right side of this one. Northern State with Reedy, Moni, Longstreet, Belka, and Mastin, their five starters. They will start with the ball. Huskies go with their five starters, Renta, Willard, Bagley, Taylor, and Mutimer. So each team with five starters on the floor. And Northern State will start the second half with the ball and an eight-point lead. And the inbound goes to Mastin again, who is on triple-double watch. Nine, nine, and six. As Mastin drives in, has his shot blocked. And it's picked up by Taylor. Here's Bagley through the middle of the lane. Back behind the back pass to Mutimer. Now Mutimer finds Taylor coming down. And Taylor bangs it in off the window for two. 45-39. Mastin bringing it over to the left wing. Now up top for Belka. Belka a couple dribbles to the right side. Picks it up. Fires it back to Reedy on the left wing. Reedy a couple of dribbles to the free throw line. Moni pops out. He'll get it right side. Gives right to Belka standing next to him. Belka into the middle. Cross court pass. Reedy 
for three. That one off the back rim, bounces high in the air off the rim, and then off the ground, scooped up by tail. You don't see that very often. The ball probably apexed at about 16, 17 feet, and then still came down off the ground before it was picked up. Here comes Renta through the lane into the corner. Bagley. Bagley looking to attack right to left across the lane. Now backs it out towards the top of the key. Renta with it on the wing. Over to Bagley. Fakes the lob pass into Taylor. Eight to shoot. Goes to Mutimer and threw it behind him and off his fingertips and out of bounds. So the Huskies turn it over. Be the fourth Husky turnover. 18.48 to go here. Second half. Aston will bring it up the floor, down to the right side, out top, Belka straight on three, rattles out, and the rebound picked up by Mutimer. Mutimer will dribble it over to the left wing, spins into the post for Taylor. Taylor had poked away, but it goes right to Bagley, who was coming down the lane. And Bagley able to scoop it up. The Huskies will bring it back out and reset. Andre Renta around a couple of screens to the left side of the top of the key, but nothing there. Now Bagley, 10 to shoot. Bagley hesitates, now drives the angle, throws a pass out to the wing, now up top, three from Willard, is off the front rim, and Reedy able to slide through traffic to get the loose ball. And Mastin with it up top, gives it to Moni, right back to Mastin. Mastin will dribble it out between the circles, 16 to shoot. It's a screen from Moni, now they've got Renta on Moni. A cross-court pass is tipped out of play by... Ryan Bagley. Dahl and Griffin coming in for the Huskies. Belka will inbound, shot clock at 10. Mastin with the left wing. Trying to work his way into the paint. Outside right for Moni. Now up top, Reedy, long three. Off the backside of the iron, no good. And a good box out by Griffin. He kept Belka at bay for the loose ball. Left side for Dahl. Dahl with it on the wing, far side. Gets it to Griffin, turning the corner. Down the lane, has to try to spin to his right side to avoid Moni and throws it up wildly. And now the Wolves have it back. Into the corner, Longstreet's three is good. So Longstreet hits the three and the lead is back to nine. Renta coming around a Bangley screen into the middle. Pulls back, shot swatted away. Renta gets his own rebound back, and the touch pass to Dahl goes right through his fingertips and out of bounds. Can he say it? Can he say it? 48-39. It's a nine-point lead for the Wolves with 16.57 to play here in the second half. Mastin brings it up before. Not sure what Coach Henderson was mad about there, but he was not happy with something that was set on the floor. Moni in the middle, pull-up jumper from five off the side of the rim, and that one goes out of bounds. So it'll be Husky basketball. So 48-39, Willert swings it left. On the wing for Griffin. Up top for Bagley. Bagley turning the corner down the lane. He stopped on the block, throws it out top. Dahl straight on three, yes. Dahl's third three. Left wing, Northern with it. Longstreet has it, now up top. Here comes Reedy off the screen. He'll try the three, and that is good. That is a tough shot coming off the screen. Third three for Reedy. 51-42, Huskies down nine. Renta through the lane, hangs in the air. Floater hits short. And Belka picks up the miss. Mastin dribbling it out near the half line. He's up to 10 assists now and has seven rebounds. Still looking for that 10th point, however. Mastin over to Moni. There's a three in front of the bench. It's good. Moni's second triple. It's 54-42, and that's the ninth make from deep for Northern. And the lead is 12, and now we got a foul as 
Dahl tried to work his way back to the top of the key. So Mutimer will inbound on the front court sideline right. Out to Willard, handoff right back to Mutimer. 15-20 to go. And Dahl has that one knocked out of his hands, but it's going to lead to a foul on Moni. Moni picks up his first. Into Dahl. Now out between the circles with it is Mutimer. Dahl pops open to the right side of the circle. Trying to work his way through the lane. Over to Willard. Willard driving. Floater from the baseline. No good. Mutimer fighting for the rebound. It's going to be a foul on Northern State. That's going to go on Belka. Been waiting for some whistles against the Wolves. They're finally coming here. But they still have that 12-point lead. Mutimer will inbound to a 1-4 high set for the Huskies. Looking for Griffin on the curl to the left baseline. Griffin pulls up and then bangs it off the window. Tough shot. He got in there quickly. I didn't think, I thought he was going to have to kind of shoot from a little further away. But that one goes off the window and in. It's 54 44. 10 point lead for Northern. Bush with the ball up top. Over to Moni now. He takes one dribble, gives it up to Longstreet. Longstreet trying to go to the baseline. Nothing there. Bush comes across the lane. Might have got hit in the side of the face there by Willard. No whistle. Up top, here's Mastin a three, and that one's off the side rim into the corner, and Aguilar's there for St. Cloud State. Over to Dahl in transition. He pulls and pops. His three is short, and Moni has the miss for Northern. Moni brings it up to the right side. He's going to be trapped over there on the side. Now they get it to Longstreet. Longstreet back in the middle. There's Mastin through the middle for a layup. 11 now for Mastin. He's got the double-double, still needs a couple of more rebounds. He's only got seven rebounds right now. 14 minutes to go in this game. And the Huskies down 12. Griffin on the curl into the middle and off the glass. It's short. Griffin fighting for the rebound, and this is going to go off Moni and out of bounds. And great hustle from Jalen Griffin. And that's going to give the ball to the Huskies. But first, the under 15, 54-44 Huskies. Down 12 at home to Northern State here on the Husky Sports Network from Learfield. Centric Care and University of Minnesota Physicians have teamed up to bring you the most advanced orthopedic care right here in St. Cloud. Are you an elite athlete, casual athlete, or maybe that joint of yours has simply been aching too long? Trust the experts at Centric Care and Physicians Orthopedics to keep you in the game, whatever your game is. Visit centriccare.com slash ortho to learn more. Centric Care and Physicians Orthopedics is the exclusive medical partner of St. Cloud State University Athletics. Got my nachos, got my big TV, and my favorite chair. It's game time. But you know, the only thing that would make it a little better is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. Uh, hello. You must have wished for your game to be synced with TV and radio. I sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? <laughs> yeah. Blammo. Your game is now synced. It's that easy. Oh, boy. To see if you can get synced, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. SyncMyGame.com? SyncMyGame.com. Northern State leads 56-44. Steve Lindsmeyer with you from Hallebeck Hall, the Husky Sports Network. And Mutimer will inbound on the baseline left. The Huskies have three guys near the foul line. Griffin up top. On their baseline out of bounds. And they'll get it to Willard on the left wing. Willard trying to go baseline. Now pulls back and hit, tries to fall away. It's no good. And we got a Foul on Bush away from the ball as Bush takes down Dahl. So Kobe Bush picks up the foul. And St. Cloud State will inbound. That's going to be the fourth foul against 
Northern already in this half. Huskies will inbound baseline right. There was some perspiration on the floor, so they brought out a towel to wipe it off as Dahl was the one that hit the deck after it got taken down by Bush. Aguilar gets the inbound in the right corner, out top to Dahl. Now it's Griffin up top. Griffin hesitates, drives the left side, and scoop shot over the top of Money Won't go. It hits just short. Skip it over. Aguilar going to try the three. That's off the back rim. And Mastin with a rebound. That's going to be number eight for Mastin. Bush and Griffin locked up there for a moment in the backcourt. Now this is going to be, I don't know what the call is here. I think it's on the ground. So it'll be on the floor. It'll be a block against Dahl. It was before the shot. He, he waved it and then... And Reedy will lob it into Money. Now up top to Dilling on the wing. Reedy comes off the screen, top of the key to get it. Now it goes back to Bush, left side. Up top for Money. Money hands it off to Mastin. Mastin two rebounds away from a triple-double. Down the right side, out to the wing. Here's Reedy attacking the angle. High arcing floater from the middle is good. Now that pushes the lead back to 14. 58-44. Unimer trying to turn the corner. Tries to get it up top to Willard, but it's stolen by Reedy. Reedy on the run. Going to throw the lob to Money. It's tipped back at Reedy. And Reedy will pick it up in the corner. Now Bush. He's oh, that he's got him hooked. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be it's going to be a foul on Mutimer. Wow, that, that's a tough one on Joe. But Northern will end out of the baseline left. Ball 28 to play in the half. Lob into the top of the key. Hand off right back to Mastin. Mastin dribbling down to the baseline. Cut off though by Taylor. Mastin working inside. Dumps it off now to Belka. Belka backing in Griffin. Griffin stands his ground, but he finds Mastin flashing the middle and he lays it in. Lead is 16. 60 to 44. Over to Bagley. Underneath now for Taylor. Taylor, right hook over the top of Nile. Hits short. And misses off the left side of the iron. 60 to 44. It's a 16 point lead. Their largest lead was 17. And this is going to make it 18 as Belka slides through the lane with another layup. Handoff goes to Mutimer. He'll move it towards the top of the key. Now to the hands of Taylor. Taylor, right side of the circle. Couple dribbles to the wing. Hands to Mutimer. 12 to shoot now for the Huskies. Mutimer down the middle. Left hand finger roll. Won't go. And Nile pulls, pulls away the rebound. Here comes Dilling with it. Tried to no look bounce pass through traffic. But Renta got his foot on it and kicked it away. Well, the inbound will go baseline left. They'll toss it into the elbow. Now Nile within the corner. Here comes Dilling off the screen. He'll try the three. Left, iron, left side of the iron, no good. And a rebound for Griffin, and it's poked away from behind by Nile. And now Griffin reached in and knocked it free. And that'll be a foul call. So 62-44, 18 points. The advantage now for Northern with just over 10 minutes to go in this game. Up in Duluth, it's 49-32. Moorhead leading that one. 
And that pass underneath misses its target. Northern turns it over. So Munimer will let this roll across the half line and pick it up. Muskies down by 18, 62-44. Down in the corner for Griffin. Griffin trying to attack, spins baseline, tries to go bank, missed it, rebound off the floor, picked up by Mastin. Mastin throws it ahead, Dilling on the run, left-hand layup is good. First two for Dilling, and the lead is 20 for the first time. 64-44, trying to spin one into the post for Taylor, but it's picked away by Belka. Huskies will inbound on the base, on the sideline right. Now between the circles for Renta. Now to the wing. Three from Dahl, short off the rim. And Dilling slides in for the rebound. Mastin, by the way, one rebound shy of that triple doubles. We hit 10 minutes to go. He's got 13, 9, and 12. And we've got to reach in on Dahl, and that will take us to the under 10. 9.58 to go here in half number two. It's all Northern State. The Wolves lead by 20 here on the Husky Sports Network from Learfield. Nicolo Golden Light is the smooth golden taste of Minnesota and the official beer of here. What's so special about here? Here is where you pursue your passions. Here is where you simplify. Here is where you reconnect. And whatever here is for you, we'll be there. Nicolo Golden Light. You are here. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Nicolo Golden Light Draft Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Another season of women's and men's college sports is underway. Follow your alma mater or favorite team in their pursuit of the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. Trophies will be awarded in June 2023 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Huskies down 64-44. Steve Lintmeyer with you on the Husky Sports Network from Learfield on the campus of St. Cloud State University. Nine fifty-eight remaining here in half number two as the inbound goes to Dilling and Northern State has the ball. They tried the pick and roll. Now off into the corner for Nile. Nile goes to the wing for Bush. Now it's back to Nile, cutting the lane left to right, stops and goes with a right hook and drops it in. 66-44. Renta crossing over towards the right baseline. Skips a pass back out to the top for Dahl. Dahl a couple of dribbles to the wing, hands it off to Renta, but Dilling's gonna be called with a foul, trying to get through that handoff. Fifth foul against Northern State. And St. Cloud will inbound front court sideline right. By the way, we will be on the air Friday night on the Varsity Network app from Minnesota State Mankato. Friday night, 5.30 for the women, 7.30 for the men. Here's Dahl on the pick and pop. His three, good. Tony Dahl's fourth triple. And then Saturday, we'll be at the Gangelhoff Center in St. Paul. 3.30 and 5.30 tip times. Here's Bush, straight on three, top of the key, hits short. And that ball picked up off the ground by Nile. And Dilling will drive the angle, but he's cut off by Bagley. Northern State will keep it. Another offensive rebound for the Wolves. Dilling, down the left side. He's stopped there by Willard, spins around, short jumper. Missed it off the back iron, and the rebound is out of bounds off 
of Andre Renta. And we'll stay here with the Wolves. Northern State right now plus seven on the glass. And at halftime, it was plus three for Northern. And Dahl gets knocked down, and this ball goes right to Belka. And he lays it in. So two more for Northern, 68-47 now. And Butimer turns the corner, gets underneath, drops it to Dahl, and Dahl's head to the free throw line for a couple of free throws. So we'll get two free throws here for Tony Dahl. Clock stopped at 8.20 of the second half. And that free throw is good. So Dahl hits the first, as that's his first free throw attempt of the ball game. And that one rolls off the back rim, no good. So he splits the pair. 68-48. 20 point advantage to Northern. Here's Maston turning the corner. Left side floater, no. And the rebound is mishandled by the Huskies. And it goes out of bounds. By the way, I missed it, but Maston does have his 10th rebound already. So he has his first triple-double of the season, 13, 10, and 12 for Sam Maston. The game clock inches towards eight minutes. Hand off to Maston, trying to turn the corner and knocked out of his hands. Griffin diving after it, stays inbound somehow and keeps it alive. And here come the Huskies. Left side for Renta, around a Bagley screen to the left baseline corner and moves it back out to Willard. Willard trying to shake away from Mone to Bagley deep three right of the circle is short. And the rebound picked up off the bounce by the Wolves. Up the left sideline. Here's Mone going to try a knuckleball three. That one rattled halfway down and out. Willard, nice tip back to Renta. And here the Huskies have it back as Renta takes it down the half or the midline. Uh, inside for Cook. And Cook is going to be fouled by Mone as he reached in after that one. So a couple of free throws for Kevin Cook. Cook's first free throws off the front rim, no good as he misfires from the free throw line. Willert, the leader right now on the team in free throw percentage with 97%. He's 34 of 35. He's missed just once. Cook now 3 of 14 from the line this year. That's under 23%. Checking on team balls. I have seven on the book, so I just wanted to make sure the board is right. So seven. So seven? Yep. Good save. Seven? Good. Change that so, on the board. Yep. So just add two to so some seven and four. Yep. Foul counting issues on the scoreboard right now as Cook waits for his second free throw. No. So now they're gonna let the teams go to their benches quickly with 7:20 to go in the half. So 68-48, Northern State in control. An update from Duluth as the Bulldogs try to inch their way back. That's at the under 10, and it's 58-47. An 11-point lead for Moorhead. So the Dragons lead by 11, trying to finish off their weekend sweep, and Duluth trying to avoid getting swept this weekend. Duluth found themselves back in the national rankings. 
And then have immediately lost one and now potentially trying to avoid losing two. No, no, it wasn't you, it was me. I forgot to do it after the injury. Well, actually, it was Joe's fault. And we'll get to our second free throw now, finally from Cook. And that one is good. So Cook splits the pair, makes the second. 68-49. With it on the left wing is Dilling. Dilling gets it to Belka, right back to Dilling as he moves right towards the top of the key. Gives it up to Reedy on the right wing. Game clock towards seven minutes. Belka near the foul line, out to Reedy. High arcing right wing three, no, but Belka slides through the middle for a rebound. And a new 20 on the shot clock for Northern State. And off goes to Mastin. Mastin has Cook on him now. Turns the corner into the middle. Right-handed finger roll. Rolls off the back rim. No good. And a rebound picked out of there by Renta. Here come the Huskies quickly the other way. Cook hop step in the middle and finishes with the right hand. And a timeout for Quincy Henderson. It'll be a full timeout, so we'll take one as well. Huskies down 68-51. 6.36 to play here in the second. You're tuned into Husky Basketball and the Husky Sports Network from Learfield. Centric Care and University of Minnesota Physicians have teamed up to bring you the most advanced orthopedic care right here in St. Cloud. Are you an elite athlete, casual athlete, or maybe that joint of yours has simply been aching too long? Trust the experts at Centric Care and Physicians Orthopedics to keep you in the game, whatever your game is. Visit centriccare.com slash ortho to learn more. Century Care and Physicians Orthopedics is the exclusive medical partner of St. Cloud State University Athletics. Woo! Got my nachos, got my big TV, and my favorite chair. It's game time. But you know, the only thing that would make it a little better is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. Oh. Hello. You must have wished for your game to be synced with TV and radio. I sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? Yeah. Blammo. Your game is now synced. It's that easy. Oh, boy. To see if you can get synced, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. SyncMyGame.com? SyncMyGame.com. Sixty-eight fifty-one. it is a 17-point lead for Northern State. The Huskies can put on a little pressure here as they try to get back in this one. Belka gets into the middle for Moni, and Northern State quickly breaks the pressure. And Dilling takes it up the right side. Now back to Mastin. He'll have the ball in his hands again. Mastin dumps it into the left block for Belka. Belka on Willard. Right back to Mastin on the wing. Mastin a couple of dribbles to the baseline. Back to the middle. Kicks it out far side corner. Three from Moni is no good. And the rebound pulled away by Willard. Willard through the middle. Down to the left side. And it's going to be blocked out of bounds. So it's going to stay here with the Huskies. Griffin will inbound on the baseline left to a 1-4 high set for the Huskies. Inbound goes left corner for Renta. Renta enters it in for Cook. Cook backing in, goes to the hook shot, and, Mo and Mo excuse me, Moni blocked it, but he got some arm as well and a couple of free throws. I don't know what Saul Phillips is so mad about. That was pretty easily a foul. I... I don't know why Saul's so animated about that one. Free throw from Cook is good. He's still mad about it. I don't... Honestly, I have no idea. I, I was way closer to that one than Saul was, and I have no idea why he's mad about that. Cook's second free throw is good, so he makes them both. 68-53. With just under six minutes to go. No, 
And Belka looking for an inbound, gets it to Moni. Left side now, Reedy will bring it up. Reedy guarded by Aguilar, will back it out near the half line. Now Mastin over to Reedy, puts the brakes on, now tries to drive, swings it around left side. And we got a foul away from the ball. It's going to go against Andre Renta. So Northern will inbound to the baseline left. It's going to be triggered in by Sam Mastin. 1-4 low set. They lob it into Moni on the left elbow. Hands it off to Mastin. Mastin trying to turn the corner into the middle, but he's cut off there. Out to the free throw line. Jumper bounces around and drops for Belka. Belka with 13. And the lead back to 17, 70 to 53. Willard trying to work his way into the middle at the free throw line, gets stopped by Longstreet. Here comes Renta around the left edge, but nothing there. Out to Griffin, he'll try the three off the back rim. A little bit of a flat shot there from Griffin. On a line drive at the back rim. And Mastin will Hand to Reedy now between the circles. Reedy rifles a pass into the corner for Belka. Belka right back to Reedy around the mast and screen to the top. Next dead ball, the under five. Here's a three from Belka, left corner off the back iron, no good. Griffin runs down the rebound, keeping that one away from Moni. Griffin hesitates, now drives, spins it off the window. What a finish. Two more for Jalen Griffin in his first couple of games as a Husky has double figures in both. And that was impressive. He spun that one off the window coming left to right. This pass knocked away. Griffin dives for it, but a blocking foul is going to be called. And that'll take us to the under five. 421 remaining here in half number two. It's a 70-55 lead for Northern. We'll be back in one minute here on the Husky Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Huskies fans, the wait is over. The St. Cloud State men's and women's basketball teams are back on the court, and Shields has everything you need to cheer on your favorite players all season long. Take your game day gear to the next level. With the Shields Fan Shop, we have an unmatched lineup of fan gear, including jerseys, hats, hoodies, and more to help you show off your team colors. So gear up, Huskies fans, and celebrate all season with Shields, a proud partner of St. Cloud State basketball and hoops fans everywhere. Another season of women's and men's college sports is underway. Follow your alma mater or favorite team in their pursuit of the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. Trophies will be awarded in June 2023 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Seventy to fifty-five. It is a fifteen-point lead right now for Northern State. Steve Lindsmeyer with you on the Husky Sports Network. Four minutes twenty-one seconds remaining. And the inbound goes to Sam Mastin. And Mastin had it knocked out of his hands by Griffin, who then tried to dive after it. Now Mastin across the lane, right to left, but backs it out to the wing. Mastin into the middle again. Back to the corner. Belka catch and shoot three. Oh, man, rattled out, but then tipped back in by Trey Longstreet. 72-55. Lead to 17 now. Griffin into the corner. Mutimer shot fake and a foul as Longstreet came down on him after the fake. That'll be the ninth team foul, so it'll be a one and one. So it'll be two free throws, or one on one, excuse me, for Mutimer. First one on the way is good. So Mutimer will get the second. Last 
3.51 remaining here in the in the ball game. Matt Willard getting set to check back in. Second free throw good, so Mutimer makes both. Willard will come in. So Cook will come out, 3.51 remaining in the ball game, and it's a 72-57 lead now for Northern. Valka running the baseline, trying to get it in, and a timeout is called by Northern. 72-57. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Let's check in with Duluth. Moorhead up 63-50 right now with 5.54 remaining in the second half. So they've still got about six minutes to go up at Romano Gym. The St. Cloud State women won tonight. My final of 74-53. was a 21 point win that wasn't even really that close. 72-57, 15-point lead for the Wolves. 3.51 to go. And Belka still running the baseline. Finally gets it into Moni. Moni had it knocked loose for a moment by Griffin. Now Renta jumps the pass. And the Huskies have it back. Here's Willard left side. Drives the baseline. Euro step into the lane. Had it knocked out of his hands and picked up by Moni. Mastin will bring it up for the Wolves. Skip pass into the corner, Moni. And a blocking foul as he ran over Renta, who's a little slow to get up. So it'll be a blocking foul against Renta. That'll be a one and one. So Moni with a one of the bonus opportunity here at the foul line. Cook getting set to check back in. <laughs> Free throw is good for Moni, so he will get the extra one. Moni now with 13. Six different players in double figures for Northern as Moni hits that one. 74-54 through the lane, kick out, left side. Griffin three, that's gonna be long. Cook's got the offensive rebound, puts it up too strong, gets it again, scores this time. So Cook on his second chance. Into the middle for Moni, now into the hands of Mastin. Mastin will drive, kick to the corner. Reedy gonna try a three, it's good. So Augustine Reedy hits the triple. 77-59. Inside for Cook, he traveled, no whistle. That one is gonna come up short. Moni has the rebound and now, that should have been a travel on Moni as well. So I'm not sure what the call is here. It is gonna be a timeout, but that was just poorly officiated all around there. Should have been a travel on Cook. Then should have been a travel on Moni. Somehow they are going to give a timeout to Northern. So that is gonna be the decision right there. So 241 remaining here in the second. 77-59, it'll be ball out of bounds for Northern. They'll have to go the length of the floor against some pressure put on by Northern State or by uh, St. Cloud State. And the inbound goes to Maston, who again, by the way, 13, 11, and 14 today 
for Maston. 14 assists is a season high. It'll be a foul on Cook, and it's going to be some free throws for Northern. So Belka, Jordan Belka will go to the free throw line. First free throw is good. Belka knocks it down. Seventy-eight, fifty-nine. Free throw from Belka is good, so he makes them both. The lead back to twenty. Seventy-nine, fifty-nine. Mutimer moving towards the middle, finds Griffin in the corner left, and it quickly comes back out. Mutimer spins into the post, right side of the lane for Cook. Cook backing his way in, spins baseline, puts it up off the window and in. Two for Cook. And Belka still looking to get it in. I looked away for a moment and look out, look out, look out. took him a while to get that in, but he finally did. The Husky bench was asking for a five second call. And now with two minutes to go, Maston has it in near the top of the key, drives and kicks to the corner for Reedy. Reedy through the lane, oh that was a travel. Drops it off, this one partially blocked, tipped out of the hands of Longstreet, but he's got it back now. The new 20 on the shot clock. Out near the logo, or on the logo, I should say, for Mastin. Mastin trying to work around a screen from Moni. Now they find Belka fading left. This one bounces four times on the rim and goes out. Rebound for Austin Jensen. Into the corner, Griffin a three. That's going to be short. Tipped back by Jensen. That one spins short. And then Griffin the offensive rebound. Out top to Butimer. He drives, kicks, Griffin three right wing bangs it off the glass no good, good rebound rolling towards the free throw line and that's going to go to St. Cloud State as it's knocked out of bounds with 111 to play so St. Cloud State will inbound front court sideline right Moni will come on the floor late. And now there's a feeling in the game as well. Inbound will go towards Jensen, and that's tipped away and out of bounds into the Husky bench, but there is a foul with 1.10 to go. So that'll send Austin Jensen to the free throw line. Free throw on the way is off the back rim, no good, and he'll miss the first one. So second free throw coming up. That one also no good. Niall pulls away the miss. This right now would be the second lowest amount of points that the Huskies have scored this year. They scored 52 against Southern Nazarene back on the second day of the season. Or the first day of the season, I should say. Nile in the middle, backs in on Griffin and drops that one over the rim and in. 81-61. Their lowest since that point is 68. That came four days later against Mankato. Here's Cook from the right block and he pushes that one in off the window. 83-61, 18 point deficit for the Huskies. There is a five second differential in the game clock and the shot clock. Into the corner, dealing a three, it's good. And three more for Northern States. 22 seconds to go, underneath Cook, reverse layup short, gets his own rebound, sticks it back. And the Huskies down 83-65, and that's going to be your final tonight from Hollenbeck Hall. So the Huskies get swept on the weekend. They're going to fall to 5-7 and seven overall, 2-5 and five in the Northern Sun. Northern State 9-3 now, 5-1 in the NSIC. As 
The Huskies fall on the at home by a final of 83 to 65. We'll take a timeout. We'll get the numbers and talk with Quincy Henderson in a bit here on the Husky Post Game Show from Learfield. Michelob Golden Light is the smooth golden taste of Minnesota and the official beer of here. What's so special about here? Here is where you pursue.